Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Mac OS Sonoma USB installer boot disk in under five minutes that anyone can follow along. Let's jump in and get started. First of all, what is a Mac OS Sonoma bootable installer for Mac OS? You can use an external driver or secondary volume as a startup disk from which to install the Mac operating system. You don't need a bootable installer to upgrade or reinstall, but it is useful if you want to be able to install Mac OS on multiple computers without downloading the installer each time, or if you're unable to install a compatible Mac OS from the Finder or Mac OS Recovery. The first thing we're going to need to do is download the full installer of Mac OS Sonoma, which is usually around 10 to 12 gigabytes in size. You can use this link to go to the App Store when it's available, or you can use my Mac OS Sonoma download video where I show you three different ways to install it from the Install Assistant to Fetch Full Installer Binary to the Mac App Store link. Once you have that downloaded, then we can move on to step two. Okay, step two is we're going to need a USB device, whether it's a USB flash drive or a USB external hard drive or a Thunderbolt drive. Any of those drives will work, but you need at least 14 gigabytes of available storage on that drive to be able to put the installer onto it and make it bootable. Now you have to be at least on Mac OS El Capitan or later to be able to start this process. Once you have it, then we can work on creating the bootable installer. Now the first thing we want to do is to put in our USB flash drive into the Mac now. Okay, I just plugged it in and it should start to show up on the desktop right here. I actually have a Windows installer on this USB drive. And I did this on purpose because if you buy the USB drive from the store, maybe it's formatted in Windows. So what we want to do is we want to format it first. Keep in mind, Apple mentions not doing that in here because the media installer binary will erase the drive. But I like doing this just in case there's a problem with erasing the drive or formatting or anything like this. I can't tell you how many people I've had say that they've had problems with this process. Process, and it was all because they didn't format the drive properly first. So all we need to do is open up Disk Utility. We'll go into the Macintosh hard drive or Finder, click on Applications, and then scroll down to the bottom to the Utilities folder. Once we're in the Utilities folder, we're looking for Disk Utility. Let's double click to open it up. Now that we're in Disk Utility, we can go in and find our external drive on the side. It's going to show the internal drive first. We don't want to do anything up here. We are looking for the external drive, and that's where all the drives that you plug into the Mac will show up. Now, what we also want to do is click on View Here or click View Up Here and make sure that we have Show All Devices Selected. Once we have that, we're ready to go to the next step because we will be able to click on the top level drive over here. Then when we click on Erase, we'll see all three sections, the name of the drive, the format, and the scheme. So it doesn't matter the name because that'll be changed once the installer starts. But the format needs to be Mac OS Extended Journal and make sure the scheme is GUID partition map. Once that's done, we can click erase. But before we do that, make sure that any data that you have on this drive is backed up. And I know it seems simple, but just double check. Just make sure you don't have any files on there. Or if you have multiple volumes on there, this erases the entire disk. So you want to make sure that if you have multiple volumes, copy all of it off because this disk will be erased. Let's click on erase. All right, we're done. We'll click on done here. And then we can close disk utility and we can move to the next step. So now the next thing we do is we need to get our full installer app. Now that is in our applications folder that we are just in. Now, depending on what you're making here, it can be a beta full installer of Sonoma or it can be a final version of Mac OS Sonoma when it's available. Drag it all the way over to our terminal window. The terminal application is located in Macintosh Hard Drive Applications Utility, terminal.app. So once this is open, now all we need to do is run the command as an administrator first. So we can do that by typing in sudo, S-U-D-O and then space. Then we can drag the app directly into the terminal window. So let's create a beta installer here. So all we need to do is drag our beta installer here to the window and it fills out automatically the full path. Now that's not the entire path though because what we need to do is move our cursor back to the app part and do a forward slash. And then the next folder is called content. So we'll have to do a capital C, O, and then hit tab to autocomplete. And then we're gonna go into the resources folder, capital R, E, and then we'll do another tab key to autocomplete. And then we're gonna do create install media, C, R, E, and then tab, and it fills in the entire command. Now we can do a space and then dash dash volume and then space, and now we're ready to drag our USB flash drive all the way to the open window, and it fills out the command right there. And then all you need to do is hit enter. Now type in your administrator password. Give it a second here. To continue, we need to erase the volume at volumes entitled. If you wish to continue, click the Y button and hit return. So we will hit Y and then enter. 
and then it's going to erase the disk and we'll give it a second here and you can see it remounted and now that is the erase is complete and then and now it's starting to copy the essential files and then copying mac os recovery os over there okay now we can see copying to disk 0 10 20 percent till we get to 100 and we're starting to pick up a little speed here now 18 to 20 megabytes a second and we'll be done in a little bit all right, we're complete. We can install media now available at volumes install Mac OS 14 beta. And on the desktop, there's our drive. We can double click on it to open it up. And there is our installer beta right in the folder, right in the main folder. Now, what you can do is a little trick here. If you want to change the icon, click on the icon, click command I, and then click on the icon here, click command I, click on the icon itself, command C to copy, and then click on the USB drive and then command V to paste and look at that, you got a cool little icon there for macOS Sonoma 